Oh! I genuinely have my ear ringing now. Body owl. Hello, hello. So last week, you guys really seemed to like my video where I talk about the differences between schools in the UK and America. I actually had left out a part that Emma had forgotten, which was about the bleep test. Oh my god. Something that British people uh, hated a lot. And I forgot about the part where in uni, I could actually bring a sheet of notes with me to take an exam. Which some people freak out about. It makes it easy, but even if you like have a written sheet of paper, you're still not going to do well if you can't memorize this. Oh stuff. my gosh, I beg to differ. I <laughs> would, oh my god, please imagine just having that sheet of information. I just find out everything, you know? But while we're on the topic of differences between UK and America, I thought of something really interesting sex ed. <laughs> I'm interested. Because, yeah. like, where you were raised in like a very, like. I'm from New Jersey, so, like, something just to start off with is what the education system is in Jersey isn't as bad as some other states and it's probably a lot better than other states. So it's kind of like in England where I guess it's a lot different than Wales or Scotland or Northern Ireland. What was the earliest age you learned about sex? I think, well... Like what age were you? My parents did a good job of kind of like integrating it when I was younger, younger. Um, but like in terms of school, mm -hmm. year five, which is when we were like nine or ten. I was in fifth grade. Oh! Um, we really just learned about puberty though. Like, I didn't learn about sex at all. I just remember there was a picture of a penis on the screen, and I went, This is a penis. And then this little nerdy kid whose name was Greg was like, Um, what's testosterone? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone went, Ha ha ha! The gingerbread man, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I really learned. I learned that a penis looked like this, and then sometimes it looks like this. Basically, we had to watch a movie which taught us um, all right. the annoyances of being a male. And it was just a little boy laying in his bed and waking up and going, Oh, my bed's wet uh, and sticky. Uh, <laughs> and it was like, this happens. Why? Yeah, he you're never a boy. What <laughs> it was. No, I didn't know what wet dreams were. I thought it was like well, I don't know. Like, so did you? Really when did you learn wet? about wet dreams? Oh, that was year five again. But again, okay. like I just had no idea what they were. Oh yeah. I thought like you'd wake up and the bed would be like soaking. I was like. Yeah, just like covered. Yeah. My parents didn't really teach me much. I remember when I was like in kindergarten and I asked my mom, Mom, why does my penis get hard? And she went, someone's talking about you. <laughs> like, just imagine if I'm like, first time I'm about to have sex and I get into it, it gets hard and I'm like, hold on. <laughs> someone's talking about me right now. And it's not Jesus. <laughs> like, well, it might be. <laughs> I'm ashamed of that. Oh, like. no. A lot of people learn, I've heard, that when your penis points up, it's pointing to God. Oh my gosh. Oh God, no. In America, I knew a couple people that when they got their first period, their parents threw them a party and made them cake. No. A period like, party. We're very open in our family, so like me and my mom would just chat about it normally. But oh, like, healthy. I think um, in school there was like one girl who just thought she was dying. There's always like a story about that. I was like a compulsive liar though, mm -hmm. so like I always used to tell people that I'd already started when I was like... Ten. Oh, so really? Stupid, yeah. I had a, a friend that when she first had her period, she had never learned about it because I didn't teach it to her yet. And I think she was 13. And for, and that's crazy that in America you didn't learn that you had a period at 13. But oh either way, God. she had had it and she thought that she was doing something wrong. So she began to hide it and she like tried to suck it up with towels and stuff. Oh. And then when her mom found all the bloody yeah. towels, instead of going, oh no, this is you're having a period, it's okay. She grounded her. Yeah. She grounded her for having a period. America. Were they quite open about it in America? Because like in Britain, they're kind of like... Well, not my my family. My dad tried to teach me the bird and the bees when okay. I was like 12. And he like sat me down when we were driving. He was like, I just want to tell you, like when you like a girl a lot, you, uh, you end up, you stick your penis in her vagina. And I went, and I just, just pissing her. Oh! <laughs> That's genuinely what I thought. I thought you stick your pee pee in the woohoo and you go woo! And you just pee. And just... That sounds great. Good old time. That's because I hadn't learned. It wasn't until ninth grade in America when I actually had sex ed. And I think I was maybe 14. This makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I remember like them talking about female masturbation. And they were like... They talked about that. Yeah. They never talked about that this was at all. like year seven. And they were like, yes, there's like a button at the top. And I was like, I don't know how this button. Where's this button? I was so confused. <laughs> In ninth grade is when we watched The Miracle of Life. Did you ever watch that movie? No. It's like, it shows a man and a woman having sex, man and then and it, it shows, course. like, the camera going through, and you're like, oh, is there milk? No, that's not 
that's not milk. It's uh, semen just pouring through the fallopian tubes and impregnating the egg. And you get to watch a woman give birth and you see the head come out and you're like... <gasps> you never spoke about anything. Really? Like, you, didn't, you didn't learn about that? Well, no. The, like, they'd always draw the, like, ovaries. Oh, and yeah, with the little yeah. tubes. And it'd be and... like, an egg comes here and then a little sperm comes up and then yeah. it's done. And I'm like... So I thought that, like, every time you had sex, you got pregnant. I thought that, like, every single time a man and a woman had sex, they would both ejaculate and come at the same time. I didn't know women did that either. Really? I, I thought, thought it was just men, and women just kind of went, all right. In movies, like, they always do it at the same time, and I'm like, that's how it works. In movies? Yeah, like, in movies, when people have sex, like, they both I've never seen a movie. Well, I time. was never allowed to watch movies with sex. I was, like, very sheltered. Oh. I didn't know much. One of my favorite parts of my sex ed class, though... Because um, everyone's like 13, 14, we're giggling about oh, sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our teacher made us, on the count of three, shout the word penis. Just That's very loudly. Cool. We all went, penis! And he's like, now get the laughs out of your system. But actually someone from another class came in and went, um, the teacher of our class said if you shout penis one more time, you're going to get in trouble. So, I don't know, we learned a lot about homosexuality and how it leads to AIDS. Oh my god. I remember that specifically. Oh my god. And it was like, oh, homosexuals, AIDS. That's awful. And STDs is something that you can protect against. Uh, I learned that wearing a condom is important, but I was—I never knew how to do that. Uh, I didn't even know what one looked like until I was 18, and I reached my hand into a hole in a golf course to get my ball out, and it came with a free condom. Someone had a hole in one on that course. Oh, so I thought that. Um, oh, I just really just said. <laughs> I thought that. Ew. Oh, sorry. I'm just <laughs> feeling it. I thought the condoms came like in the shape, so I thought you'd like slip it on like a hat. What? I never did the roly banana thing. I've never. Oh, done I didn't know that either. I until I think I've it was Mean Girls. Was it in Mean Girls where they showed the condom going on a banana or something? I watched some American film and I was like, oh, I thought it also came like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like a little. That oh. one geography teacher was like, well, once you're like in a girl, you can't really stop going. It's very difficult to pull out. Ah! That's not sex ed. That's geography. No, no, because it was, he, like, because sometimes teachers really? swap roles, yeah. For us, we had, if you're, if a teacher was teaching sex ed, it's because they're also a gym teacher or a health teacher. Huh. You couldn't just be like, hi, I teach math, and now I'm going to teach you the statistic probability of getting laid. Right. My nickname, or rather bully name in school, was Dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Dildo Waddle. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant and so like oh. in school I put my hand and I was like what's a dildo and everyone laughed oh and, uh, and then someone went, you are yeah uh, when was the first time you learned the word gay holy moly because I remember I was six years old really I was at the play park we were playing in recess and I went up to hug my friend Matt and he went oh don't touch me are you gay and I went What's that? I'm six years old. And he went, gay is when you like another dude. And I was just like, well, I like you a lot. And I Aww. gave him a hug. And then I got called a fag a lot. Oh, no. That's I was like, so yeah. Sad. Which to me, it was like, I don't know why that's a bad thing either way. But... I remember singing, um, do you know that Australian nursery brand? Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Love, kookaburra, love. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. And I remember singing that, and someone was like, wait, what? Did you just say gay? Oh, kookaburras are those birds we saw. Yeah, the ones that go, ah! <laughs> no education about gay sex at all. No. It was always like, sex is when a man and a woman. It was nothing, like, in between. So a lot of Americans that are in education right now might have had to do the egg test, which is something that I had to do my last year of Isn't health. Is that thing that happens in, like, TV shows yeah, and with the egg. carry around a thing? Yeah. So <gasps> basically, I had to choose someone in my health class to be my wife. Oh. And we had to care for an egg, and it, like, makes noises, and you have to keep it safe because it's signed, and if it gets a crack on it, you fail. And like, I didn't want to do it with a girl because I wasn't friends with many at that time. So I was like, like, oh, I'll do it with my friend Jim. And my teacher was like, oh, are you, are you gay? And I went, no. And she went, well, you can't do it with him then. I went, well, oh, flip it out. why not? She went, you have to do it with man and girl. And I went, that doesn't, why? She went, because if you're not gay, you can't pretend to be gay. And I was like, she just didn't, she wanted it to be more real. So man and wife is real. But I ended up getting an A on it. I kept my egg very safe. Thank God, you. that's such an easy test. It's really not. You have to carry it with you every class. And the thing is, other people that aren't in the class Hang know on. that you have it, and Hang they on. can break it on you. What are you getting an A in? Parenting? Yes. <laughs> I cut my egg a lot. You get Josh to that in school? What? Yeah. Well, that's Sixth what, Street? 
Well, I'd rather have that than, ta- you know, other stuff. Calculus. Imagine if you're getting married and they're like, wait, would you get on your parenting exam? Did you keep that egg safe? No! <laughs> Mom, he cracked his egg in 12th grade. He's not cut out for this thing. I can't believe you guys didn't do that. You didn't have like a sack of flour or anything. Oh, I always used to watch on TV shows. Like I remember one and that's so raven. It's, it's the future, future I can see. see. That was good. Some of my health classes that I didn't have to take, some of the teachers are more extreme and they actually had a full baby that was weighted eight pounds. Jeez. And it like recorded when it was let down, when it wasn't picked up, it makes noises. And if you don't attend to it at night, it literally will give you points off. What a weird thing. What I, a weird I, I think it's like a nice rude awakening, but it was, I think they did that. So it'd be like, don't have sex. Don't oh, pregnant. this baby will ruin your life. Oh I didn't have abstinence only education though. Don't have sex or you might get pregnant and die. <laughs> Basically, I didn't have that though. I mean, that's for the most part what a lot of schools did, but in my school at least, they were just like, if you're gonna have sex, you should probably be safe, but we're not gonna tell you how to do that. Um, I'm interested. What did you learn about periods? Like, did you know anything? Nothing? I just knew that women bled out of their vagina. <laughs> I just learned via a Tumblr post like last year that women don't pee out of their vaginas. Oh my Can God. you believe that? Um, how many holes are in the like female bottom area? Are you kidding? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Someone I had dated at one point, when she had seen a penis for the first time, she was like, oh, How is that supposed to fit in me? Yeah, yeah. And she was like, yeah. I thought like they were paper thin to fit in okay, the vagina. Okay, I never thought that. Like imagine just a paper thin penis. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for the most part, the internet taught me a lot of what I know because the education system kind of failed me. Yeah. Internet and like people experiencing it firsthand around me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I didn't even know that, like, the asexuality spectrum existed mm. until someone had told me and went, you kind of sound like you're a bit demisexual. I was like, what? What's that? Schools. Improve. Like, M- improve. stop it. You're doing badly. Well, I don't feel like it's the education system. Well, some people say it's, the, it's your parents' responsibility, but I feel like as a country that wants to raise well-formed humans, it might be in their best interest to sort of help with that. I think so. Uh, so, yeah. that's our opinion. So, what's yours? What's yours? And anyway, if you did like the video, please give it a like below. Also, click Dodie's face because she makes lovely songs and she's my lovely, beautiful best friend and flatmate. Aww. Other than that, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos every Sunday and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. 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 Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs>